The aim of this study was to assess the effects of a giant exercise board game intervention on physical activity and on a broader array of physical and psychological outcomes among nursing home residents. To do this, a quasi-experimental longitudinal study design was performed in two comparable nursing homes. Ten participants meeting the inclusion criteria took part to the one month intervention in one nursing home, whereas 11 participants were assigned to the control group in the other nursing home. The giant exercising board game required participants to perform strength, flexibility, balance and endurance activities. Each square is colored according to the component of physical fitness that has to be exercised. Systematically, an illustration explains the movement to execute and adaptation for participants with a, with a lower or higher level of physical fitness. Different symbols are drawn on the walking lane in order to execute some balance exercises requested appropriately on the corresponding squares. Finally, ladders and snakes are linking pairs of squares and participants could move faster forward and backward in the game. Support of an exercising specialist decreased gradually during the intervention in an autonomy-oriented approach based on the self-determination theory. Physical activity was measured objectively using actigraph accelerometers. During three consecutive days, two clinical researcher assistants helped participants to place the accelerometer on an elastic strap around the ankle above the right lateral malleolus. Cognitive status, quality of life, motivation for physical activity, gait and balance, functional mobility and muscular isometric strength of the lower limb muscles were also assessed at baseline after the intervention and after a follow-up period of three months. In the intervention group, physical activity increased from 29-21 steps per day at baseline to 33-58 steps per day after the intervention and 40-83 steps per day after three months. Energy expenditure per day also increased after the intervention and after three months. Quality of life, balance, gait and strength of the ankle were also improved after three months. Those improvements were not observed in the control group. The preliminary results are promising, but further investigation is required to confirm and evaluate the long-term effectiveness of physical activity interventions in nursing homes.